Hey everybody, Guilty here. With Ninja Gaiden 2 being playable on the latest builds of Xenia Canary, I remembered that I found and used a Ninja Gaiden 2 save editor for my Xbox 360 saves earlier this year. It took a little effort to get a modified save working on the 360, required the use of third-party applications to re-sign the save to the console, but it nevertheless worked. I recorded a video demonstrating the results of these modifications, and it was good fun and all, but I never revisited it because the results just weren't worth the efforts. But then, Xenia Canary changed all that. What you see on screen is an Xbox 360 save file for NG2. It begins with this conspicuous con header and is followed with lines and lines and lines of hex code. It's pretty typical. But when compared to a Xenia Canary NG2 save, the first thing you may notice is there is no such header. But that's what the save editor requires in order to properly read the file. Now let me show you. So we have the aforementioned NG2 save editor pulled up now. And aside from the word karma, the rest of it is as incomprehensible as all shit. And don't worry, I know. Thanks to some saints in the forums, I have a translation for our reference. I will show that to you later. As I mentioned though, the save editor only works with Xbox 360 saves. If we try to load a Xenia Canary save, we will encounter an error message because it is expecting that con header and all that data that followed. So what do we do? Well, we add the con header and all that data to our Xenia save to sort of 360-fy it. Whether we're playing on Xenia or an actual 360, we're still playing the same game on very similar architecture. So there are similarities in both versions of the data, and we can trick the editor into thinking we are feeding it a save sourced from a console. So where does the 360 data end and the NG2 data they both have in common begin? The short answer is offset CFFF. Let's look at the first line of our Xenia save. We have decoded an X, Euro symbol, pound EG, pound EG, and over here, the raw hexadecimal. I'm going to take these opening four bytes, 00007880, from our Xenia file, and see if our 360 save has that sequence too. We control F, type in what we're looking for, search the entire file, and oh, we have a perfect match. This line in the 360 save is the same as this line in our Xenia save. And everything that follows this line, though they may look different, they read the same. I'll prove it to you. We're going to select everything in our 360 file from the very beginning up to that point where they begin to match. Offset C F F F. Copy and paste it into our Xenia file, save it, and try to open it in our editor. And check that shit out. Now the file is open in the editor, but what does all this shit even mean? Well, as I said, I have a translation right here. Our first field is essence. Our second field is health. And this field determines incendiary shurikens. If you want infinite projectiles, enter 255. Anything less and you'll have that exact quantity and it will deplete as you use that item in game. That applies to all the other consumables and projectiles as well. So under that, we have Herbs of Spiritual Life. Under that's Devil Way Mushrooms, Lives of the Thousand Gods, Spirit of the Devils, Miramasa's Omusubi. As you can tell, this is our Karma window. Under that, we have the number of Ninpo slots, Arrows, Grains of Spiritual Life, Life of the Gods, Jewels of the Demon Seal, and Talismans of Rebirth. We'll go ahead and make some edits here. We'll start with 69, 69, 69. Just put 69 here, six there, nine, 69, ha <laughs> I'm fucking funny. Now our final steps are to save our changes in the editor, then undo the additions made that changed our Xenia save into a quote unquote 360 save. So control F, zero to C F F F to highlight it all, delete, then save. Lastly, load up Xenia and check your work. On a side note, I have tried directly editing the hex to acquire weapons and ninpo early, like what I've done for the Master Collection, but NG2 is a fickle bitch. Unlike Sigma 2, it's not a matter of entering one string of hex bytes. It seems acquired weapons and items affect four or five different parts of the game's save file. And these changes are difficult to measure because they're not always the same. So for now, we can use the editor to give ourselves plenty of money and consumables. 
as well as a beefy health bar and as much ninpo as you can handle. But you will have to acquire weapons the old fashioned way, which is no big loss there because this game is fucking awesome. And that's how it's done, my friends. I will host the editor on my Google Drive and to save you some trouble, the notepad with the editor's translation will also include all the hexadecimal you'll need to paste into your Xenia save to change it to a 360 save that the editor can read. So don't worry about not having a save of your own to cannibalize from. I am such a nice guy, I will provide that for you. Now in return for my unmatched generosity, please check out the channel's Discord. We have lots of discussion there between some talented modders like Tian Musha and Fiend Busa. And thanks to RafiQ, I have a plethora of Dead or Alive 5 models to accompany all the Ninja Gaiden Black, NG2, Sigma, Sigma 2, and Razor's Edge models I already have. I can pose all these in Blender, so I'll be releasing holiday-themed renders like the one on screen and other wallpapers to grace your desktop here in the future. I just bought Vanilla Ninja Gaiden 3 for PS3 and Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z on Steam, so we'll be streaming that goodness here very soon too. Thanks again for stopping by. I hope this video was helpful. We're very close to 800 subs here, so if you'd like to help the channel reach another milestone, well, there's only three things you have to do. Like, subscribe, and go outside.